AA. Hello, I was wondering if you could apply for a U visa without the supplement B. The prosecutor said their office only signs if the case is five years or under. They said if it wasn't the issue, they would sign. No, you need a law enforcement letter. But if the prosecutor's office won't sign it, go to the police. Maybe they'll sign it. NATO picks with a question. Hi, Brad. Just my medical RFU was delivered the last week based on a USPS app and signed by someone working at the Atlanta field office. So no update in online. Do you think they received the RFE? Yes, I believe they did. Farouk. Hi, Brad. How are you doing? I have a question about SIG. I got the court order and filed the I-360. What about waiting times? About how many months should I wait? Well, I-360 juveniles are in the fourth preference category. And unfortunately, there's a big waiting list now. So who knows? It'll be a, a bit of a time. But as long as your I-360 is filed before you're 21, you will get a green card no matter when you file your adjustment application. Sun Silk Roa, can I ask, sir, if the social security number is permanent number or can it change? No, if you get a social security number, that's your number for life. It never changes. Emily Marshall asks, if an applicant selected number for 61 out of 45, are you subject to the public charge ground of inadmissibility? If you answered yes, you'll be denied. So... You would say no, it would be the answer. Pass 335i, so her using her social security with her visa is expired. So now she's illegal, but we just sent the paperwork and everything to the attorney and he says she can work. That shouldn't prevent her. If you have a social security number and you are married to a US citizen and you are adjusting your status, you can work. Not legally, not working legally, but the fact that you work, the fact that you're paying taxes, you're even working on the books, it's not going to prevent you from getting a green card. Mess. I'm an OPT. I will be out of status in two months. If I apply for TPS today, will I maintain my status starting today or starting the date when they approve the application? Let's say in three months. As long as it is filed before your OPT is expired, you will maintain your status. Karen Tracy. Hi, Brad. Please answer this question. We were in the USA for four months from December 21 to May 2022 on a B-1 visa and came back in September 22 on a J-1. How soon after the J-1 ends can we travel back to the USA on our visitor's visa? You can come back relatively soon, as long as it's for a very short period of time. Lara Halta, my N-400 is denied because I didn't apply for a waiver. Came on a B-2 visa, was unmarried son, over 21, waited years. It's USCIS mistake to give me LPR. How can they safely save LPR? I don't know enough about your case, Lara. What waiver are you talking about? We would need to talk more. Nick Gardner, I'm planning to visit this August, but last year I spent 94 days on my B-1. I'm planning to spend 15 days. Will it pose a problem to CBP and Jamaican military? I think 94 days in one year and then coming back this August for 15 days is fine. As long as you have a return plane ticket, I don't think you're going to have any problem. Andrew Lopez, my boyfriend, bring me here. And after that, use me as a home servant. I work for him without pay in his uncal business. Can I apply for TVs? A yes. That's indentured servitude. You can absolutely apply for a T visa, and you should. Esangwa Toja, any pathway from TPS to green card? Family, job sponsorship, investment, refugee asylum, visa lottery. All the pathways that everyone else has. Victoria. Hi, Brad. When can I apply for work permit for my husband after filing for the I-130, which just sent no response? Well, are you a U.S. citizen? Is your husband here? Have you filed an adjustment application? I need to know a lot more. A square. If a petitioner green card expires and is awaiting citizenship approval, can the recipient of an approved petition do an adjustment of status? As long as you're in legal status and you're married to a resident, just because their green card expired and is awaiting citizenship, you can file adjustment if you're in legal status and married. Any topic goes. I filed for U visa 2018. I got four year BFD work permit and deferred action. Do you know when I'll get a U visa? They're about 10 years backed up. So 2028. Jan John. Hi, Brad. Can you go back home if your asylum is denied by asylum office while on F1 visa, but got green card later on employment? You can go home, but there's always questions going to be asked. I would not do it until I'm a citizen personally. Anila. I got first misdemeanor in my life when I had oath ceremony after I got denied my U.S. citizenship. I've done all my 365 probation. I just have a question. When will I be eligible for reapply again? I would need to know a lot more about your misdemeanor and how long ago this happened and what it was for. Generally speaking, though, it's five years after your probation is up, maybe before if we talk. 
My asylum BIA appeal is administratively closed. Can we reopen and terminate my case based on VAWA? Yes, if your VAWA is approved, you would reopen the case then terminate it and then file an adjustment in that order. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.